our concern is that there is quite a big gap between policy and statements on the one hand and implementation on the other. We find that there are far too many human rights violations, violent elections, and so on, that gets endorsement sometimes by the African Union or their silence on the part of the African Union. Uh, one understands the complexity of a organization like the African Union that is made up of member states, and if those member states deliver dictators to you uh, at the African Union level, uh, then it's tough. So I have sympathy with the ambassador and the African Union leadership. But let me uh, raise my third concern that African citizens have about the African Union. We want an African Union that is united, that can push for greater social, economic, and political integration. Uh, I mean, I've jokingly been saying for, you know, for more than a decade now, ever since Europe adopted the euro, if Europe can have a euro, I don't see why Africa can't have an afro. And I wasn't referring to the beautiful hairstyle, uh, just to be clear. I mean, the idea of lifting up our vision of how we can integrate, we are like slaves to the national boundaries that were drawn by colonialists sitting in Berlin, mm. you know, uh, 